Hi guys! In this video, we are going to have a look into another great alternative to Camtasia. And this software is called Filmora 9 by Wondershare. I've been testing the Filmora 9 for a few days now, and I'm pretty much satisfied with all the editing capabilities. Different types of effects, transitions, elements, text overlays, and background music that is included in Filmora 9. In this video, I will show you how to create a simple and short video clip with all the transitions, effects, titles, and some music. In case you decide that you want to try Filmora 9, there is a free trial available from this page. You can find the link to this page in the description down below. Currently, there is no discount available for Filmora. But later on, this page is going to contain all the latest offers and discounts for you. So don't hesitate to check the description and get your discounts. Now let's get back to the review. First of all, let's get ourselves familiar with the Mora 9 user interface and control elements. In the bottom part, you have the project timeline. It contains multiple tracks. You can add and remove audio and video tracks here. You can also delete empty tracks and you can adjust the track height. It can be small, normal or big. You can also adjust it here. To add a new track, you need to click the plus button and select which type of track you want to add. For now, I will add a video track. Next track I will add is an audio track. So you can see it's pretty easy to add new tracks. To remove empty tracks, you can either right mouse click on any of the tracks or you can click the plus button here and choose delete empty tracks. The top right part contains the video preview window. You can scan your video here, you can play it and you can stop it. Let's try to play the video preview. I will disable the sound for now and play it. Ok, that's it for the video preview window. The left part, the left part contains all the effects that you want to add into your video. You can choose to add titles, different type of titles. You can choose to add transitions between different parts of uh, your video clip, of your video project. Also, you can choose to add effects and elements. There's also a built-in media library here. There are some sample videos here, sample colors, and also a sample music. You can use all these media, videos and audios for free. They are included in your license. Now as you are familiar with the user interface and control elements, let's create a new project. Click File, New Project and we will select the 16 by 9 white screen. We won't save any changes. Now let's begin the creation of the brand new video. In order to create a fun to watch video, we need to add some media files. I have prepared a bunch of video clips and images that I have downloaded from the Pixabay. Pixabay is a free storage for videos and photos. So let's import the video files now. And for this, all we need to do is just to click this import media files button. I will go to my folder here and the folder is called Filmora Media. I'm going to select all these files. We've got three video clips here and two images. I will add all these media files into our project. So you can see every added file has a specific icon. For video files we have a film icon here 
and for images there is an image icon okay so now we need to add this media into the timeline first will be this video I will click this plus button and now this video is added into the timeline let's try and play this video okay so the video is here and it can be played nicely also by the way uh, you can see if you put the mouse cursor onto this timeline numbers here and hold the left mouse button you can increase or decrease the zoom level of the timeline just by moving the mouse okay now we need to add another media file here I will put the marker at the end of the current media file and I will add the image okay so the image is here I will make it a little bit longer this image is not of a full HD resolution that's why we have these black lines here but I think we can use the zoom and pen oh basically we can just we can just adjust the size here so let me just quickly do it now and now we have a nice image here this image matches the resolution of 1080p now let's add another file and this will be this space earth or space planet so this video is added I will decrease the zoom level of the timeline to make it look more convenient and also I will add another video basically I will add the picture I won't be adding the video now I will add this picture I can just drag and drop it here so now it is added let's make it a little bit wider and let's edit the size let's resize it to fit the 1080p okay now the pictures are matching the 1080p let's add the final video file I think it's the space video as well let's click plus button and now the video file is added into the timeline so we have two clips we have three three video clips and two images let's save the project call it test project whatever confirm save it and now let's try and play it so the video is not really long but I think we need some transitions here we need transitions between images and between different video clips so now let me increase the zoom level of the timeline and let's jump into the transition selection inside the transitions I think I will choose something like I will go to category basic I wanted to find the fade transition here okay I think we can filter the transitions and find some sort of fade okay the fade is here I will add the I will add the basic fade between this picture and the video clip and let's see how it looks okay so to add the fade all you need to do basically to add any transition all you need to do let's just undo the changes you need to click to left click the transition and move it into the position of the timeline that you want to have the transition so I will edit between the uh, video clip and image here so now as it's added let's play and see how it looks okay it looks pretty nice we have a fade here 
Let's add another transition between the image and the second video clip. Let's try this time. Let's try something more interesting. Uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe color merge. Let's try this one. Let's play and see how it looks. Well, it doesn't look really well. Let's undo the changes and let's add maybe dissolve. I think dissolve might look better. Let's try and play how it looks. Okay, the dissolve looks much better. I'm going to stay with this with this effect, with this transition. Let's stop the video and save the project. Okay, we need another transition between the second clip and the second image. And I think this will be the, the blur. We can also increase the fade duration. Just drag this control element with left mouse button. Let's play and see what we got here. Okay, we have a nice blur effect. It lo that looks pretty cool. And now let's add another transition between the image and the last clip and the last video track. And this transition will be the slideshow, erase slide. Let's increase the duration and see how it looks. Well, it doesn't look really well, I think. I will remove it. I can also remove it by right mouse clicking and selecting delete. I will remove this transition and change to something else. Maybe I will choose something more interesting. How about the warp? We have the warp here. Let's try the Viral 4. Let's play and see what we got in the preview window. Wow, that looks nice. Okay, I'm going to stay with this effect. I'm going to save the project. You can also hit Ctrl S or Command S on Mac. I will save the project and now let's add some effects. Well, actually before we add effects, Probably we need to add some action uh, to these static images and we will use the zoom and pan tool for that. So select the image, right click the mouse and choose the crop and zoom. Inside the crop and zoom there is a pan and zoom tab. I will use the pen and zoom tab to add some panning effect. Let's choose this end rectangle and adjust the size. Also let's choose this start rectangle and adjust the size as well. We can adjust the size and the position. Now let's preview it. And that looks nice. Now I can click OK. And let's play and see what we got here. We got the transition and the zoom and pan effect in place. That might be too fast, but well, anyways, we need to add some action. You can adjust the speed later. Let's add an action uh, to another image as well, to this one. Let's select this image, right mouse click and select the crop and zoom. Inside the crop and zoom, let's go to the pan and zoom tab and let's change this end rectangle position. This time this will be something like this. Also we need to change the start rectangle position 
and it will be something like this let's preview it okay the pen effect looks nice let's click OK and play in the preview window so we have this cool effect and also we have a pen and zoom so I think that looks okay for now. Let's save the project. And now I wanted to show you how to add effects. So to add an effect, let's go to the effects tab. And you can see there's a lot of effects here. Actually, we've got like 245 effects. Also, you can, you can get additional effects in the effects store here if you click this button you will go to the effect store and you can add additional effects for the additional fee and now let's add some basic effects for example i want to add this maybe this cinematic flares effect which one do you like i think this one the cinematic flares will play nicely here Let's add it here. The effect is going to be downloaded and it only happens the first time because it's not on my machine yet. So I will probably pause the video. Okay, so the effect is loaded and it's applied uh, to this part of our video project. And you can see it already in the preview window. Let's see how it's going to look when you play the video. Okay, you can see the effect looks nice it's a natural sound flare let's stop the video and add some more effects and this time I'll add an effect into the image and this effect is going to be the light leak first we need to download it so let's click this button here let's double click it and I will pause the video until the effect is downloaded. Okay, so now as the Light Leak 6 effect is downloaded, we can go ahead and drag it into the image. So now the effect is applied. I don't know what happened with the image. I think we need to increase the size once again. Okay, now it looks fine the effect is here let's preview it oh, I, th I think the pan and zoom effect has disappeared but that's okay I think they are just incompatible the pan and zoom effect is incompatible with light leak 6 effect well anyways if you want to apply different effects to a different parts of your video first you need to split the part of the video that you want to have different effects for this longer video with the planet in the space we can split it here in the middle just by moving the marker and clicking on the marker on the clip here and selecting the split or you can press ctrl B or command B on Mac as well so now the clip the long clip is split into two smaller clips and we can apply different effects on each part so the first part the first part will have uh, this effect the glow effect and the second part the second part will have the sage effect well it actually doesn't look really well so let's delete this effect by right clicking and selecting delete and I think I will choose the I will choose the viola effect okay viola effect looks a little bit better but <coughs> we need to play with different effects and see which effects looks better now let's play and preview how it looks 
So it's the glow effect. And yeah, let me just scan, scan over here. I think I can scan here. And this is the viola effect. Okay, that's it for the effects. We won't be adding any more effects here because we have enough already. Now I wanted to show you how to add the titles. So if you click into Titles tab here, you can choose different type of titles. You can uh, add the intro titles, like maybe, maybe we can click this one. We need to download it first. It's downloaded pretty fast. Now we can move it here. And let's play the preview and see what we got. So we have the opener text here or the intro text and then we have the video. You can also customize the text. So if you move the marker here on the opener and double click it, you can choose which text you want to be here. Maybe we, we can change it to something like this. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Probably accidentally pressed something. Okay, let's get back to the editing. And I wanted to put... Oh, okay, I see. So when I press the space here, while in the preview window, the video starts playing. So I probably need to go into this text edit box and change the text inside this window. So it's different text. That looks okay. So now we can also change this text to something like this. Also, I think you can change the text to be bold and italic. Also, you can align it differently. If you increase the text area size, you can align it like this to the middle or to the left or to the right. You can also align it justified. And you can change the style of the text. We won't be changing the style of this top text. We will change the bottom text. And we have 23 different styles. I will choose this one. This one looks nice. Okay, we finished the editing. Now let's play and see how it looks. Okay, so the intro text looks nice and then we have the video following. Now let's add a simple overlay text. If we choose the titles here, we can add a simple overlay text. Maybe we can choose, we will use this title because this looks nice double click on this button download it we can also preview it and now we can edit it here we can add it into the clip let's play and see how it looks okay so it's nice animated text you can also change the if you do double click here you can change which text you want. Something like this. My titles. Okay, I think you got the idea and you can follow without me. Now let's add some elements. We will add the elements into the image. And in the elements tab we have different like uh, 199 elements. Let me choose something random like this one. Let's download it. We also have a preview here. And now I can add it into my video project. 
let's play and see how it looks. So you can see there is an element added on top of the nature image. Let's save the project. And also let's add the background music. If you go into, into audio tab, you can choose 51 different background musics here. I will choose something like young and bright and maybe this one let's download and play this audio track i think we will have to wait while it downloads so i will pause the video okay the audio is downloaded now let's play it okay i like it now let's put it into the audio track here and let's preview the video okay this track this this background music fits nicely into the video project let's just cut the sound in the place where the video is over in this place Let's use Ctrl B to split it and remove this part. Okay, let's hit Ctrl S and the project is saved. So before we render the project and see the final result, I also wanted to show you the screen recorder feature because the Filmora 9 can also be used as a screen recorder for tutorials and it's good to know how to engage this feature inside the file menu you need to choose the record media and record pc screen you can also record the webcam or the voiceover from the microphone but when you record the pc screen let's click it now when you record the screen you can also record a microphone as you can see, as I speak, the microphone is displaying the sound input. Also, you can uh, record the sound from the speakers, I think. And also, you can choose the size of the recording area. You can choose the custom, you can choose the target video of the specific application or the full screen. Now let's try and record the full screen. Okay, so the recording is running at the moment. Now I will stop it. And after I've stopped the recording, the record is here. The recorded video is inside the project media library you can drag and drop it into the timeline and this will be added as a part of the video project as you can see it's the recording of the screen that i made with the filmora 9 screen video recorder i will remove it for now and i will show you how to render the project the video project that we've just created and in order to render the video project you can either go to the export menu item and select the create video or you can go to the export button click it you will have this window appearing and depending on which account you have you might have a free plan or you might have the lifetime license you will have the video exported with watermark or without watermark so with free plan that we are going to use now our final video will be having a watermark now I will click the continue use and I will export the video into disk D Filmora Media I will call it my video that's fine and I will click export 
So the export team is in progress and I will get back to you once it's done. Okay, so the rendering is complete. Let's go and see the final result. And the video is here. And let's play it. You can see we've got a watermark here and this is because I'm using the free trial but as soon as you purchase any of the paid plans the watermark is going to be removed. Okay that's it. I think now you have the idea how easy it is to create a video with Filmora. And if that is so, I hope you enjoyed the video. So don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also don't hesitate to check the description for the links to see if you can get some discounts. That's it. Thanks for watching.